I want to know about the animals because I haven't really met them. Oh, the, an the animals. Lulu uh, and Whiskey are famous now. There's a movie being made, developed about Lulu yeah, and Whiskey. That's so, right. So Lulu and Whiskey. Uh, well, Whiskey is Catherine's miniature horse, miniature pony. Originally, it was Catherine's. That's right. Well, you still, you know, I did not take ownership of it. You didn't adopt well, her officially. I mean, I have it. You know, because she, no paperwork, she dropped the basically. ball. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, my daughter dropped the ball. Yes. When she, she abandoned. She, when she had this animal, and it was everything to her. Then all of a sudden, she started dating. And then all of a sudden, guys went in, and the horses were out. That's she stopped horseback riding. She started, she started jumping, competing, and all of that stuff. So then uh, this poor horse was down there on... Vanderbilt Canyon at some stable. And I didn't pay much attention uh, to the whole thing and you know who's taking care of it. But then eventually, um, I said to Alexander, I said, so what's going on with the horse down there uh, with whiskey? He says, I don't know, let me check it out. So he checked it out and he says, well, the guy said that no one is ever coming by. He's taking her for a walk. And I said, well, have him bring, it, bring her up here. To your home. Yeah, so I brought her out. So he brought her up here, and then I just uh, had to roam around in the grass here for uh, two, three hours a day, and then took her back. And I played with her and all of those things. So then I said, a half year later, I said, that's stupid. Why don't we just build a stable here? We have enough room. So we built a stable, a stall. Yeah. And uh, we built a stall, and the whiskey was in heaven. But I could tell that every time she came into the house, I had to come into the house, well, every time, and I had to house. eat with me, and then you know, I fed her, and I gave her cookies and um, food, and she got along with the dogs really well and all that stuff. But I could tell that she was not kind of as, as kind of like joyful as she could be. And I was made aware of that they, they need companionship. You know, mm. they need another horse or donkey or something like that. So my girlfriend, Heather, she uh, gave me for Christmas four years ago the donkey. And so all of a sudden, was it under the tree? Was it under the no, Christmas tree? I, I, the was, ribbon? I, I, I was driving up to uh, you know Mandeville Canyon, and there was this truck with a trailer. And with a uh, with a uh, with a donkey in it, with a little tiny donkey. And I said I was cursing all the way up Mandeville Canyon, you know the usual thing we do when we're in a car, right? They be cursing at everybody because we're by ourselves. Yeah. You know, it's not yeah. a bitch. And why driving is so slow? You know, it must be a stupid driver. And blah, why blah, is blah. there a donkey and in, in Brentwood? And then, you know, it's just the idiot you know they should just drop the tongue off somewhere and yeah. they just go home and you know, all this stuff so it was just uh, the raving and just going crazy and then all of a sudden the the the, the, the truck drives right at the fountain down there so i said well it's going kind of it's, my direction. it's going to <clears throat> it's going somewhere in my village dr dre needs a donkey and uh, the next thing i know is it turns then uh, up my driveway so I said, well, that's really funny. <laughs> I, I wonder if someone has just, you know, kind of missed the gates or something like that. So anyway, I just follow that truck all the way up my driveway. I get out, and now Heather comes out and says, oh, hi, you know, and she says hi to the girl, and it's a great for you to come and all this stuff. So I realized that there was something going on. So the donkey gets off the next thing, so she must have kind of, uh, called her, I'm five minutes away, because now Whiskey was out, right in front there, where you drive up the driveway, Whiskey. So now the, the donkey gets off the trailer, and then Whiskey and, and, and uh, Lulu are just kissing each other, hanging out together, running off together, and now Whiskey's showing her the property. They're all running off now together, and they were glued together ever since. Just like that. Just like that. They were like buddies. So, so the, what the experts said, and what Heather also said, who grew up with horses, that she needs a companion. 
And true enough, that companion did it. So now they're just hanging out. Lulu is completely protective of whiskey. Whiskey is now 17 or some years old, and uh, Lulu is four. And uh, so this is kind of like, so I think that during the COVID period, you know, in order to entertain people because people were stuck at home, so it's as if I go and have some videos go out of the fun we have here and the kind of things you can do when you're stuck at home. You know, like here's what I do is I have my animals come into the house, they come up to the gym. You know, there's a, uh, as you know, there's an exercise for your calves called donkey races. Yeah. You know, yeah, where someone donkeys. sits on top of your back. And there's a, so I, of course, took pictures of me doing donkey races with someone sitting on my back with the donkey standing there and watching <laughs> us doing donkey races and stupid things like yeah. that. And so, you know, I would just, you know, uh, put those videos out. And so it, I realized that how much people really enjoy those kind of videos and enjoy them, the animals coming into the house and all this stuff. And I always loved that idea of having animals in the house and not just the typical animals like cats or dogs, but anything. Like my pig that you hear in the background. Um, you want to check out why the pig is making noises? You want to take him out? Yeah, bring him out. You know, just yeah. let him run around. Well, just let him run around a little bit, otherwise he will make noises. He's not happy. They're social animals. And so anyway, so I have the pig coming into the house. He runs upstairs and downstairs. Uh, I have everyone coming into the house. And uh, I uh, th there was, I don't know if you ever saw that, there was a uh, famous picture uh, out there one time on, 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 the, on the internet of a bison, a big monster a bison. bison, a bison that weighs thousands of pounds. Yeah, sure. Uh, in the kitchen. And so what happened was I found out when I read up on it was that this farmer, you know, had this bison that was kind of abandoned by his, by his uh, uh, mother. And uh, so he brought up the bison and fed, they fed it uh, milk, they gave it the bottle in the beginning and then slowly it grew up. And it always came into the house. It always came into the kitchen. And then now eventually it became this monster bison that still said they had to open up the doorway, make it wider. They had to make it taller, the doorway, so this bison can fit in. But it still trots into the kitchen, who looks around and looks for food and stuff like that. And that doesn't destroy anything. But are, are you ever worried about those horrible stories about the chimps that they raise? And then one day the chimp takes your face off and eats your digits? Because that's what they do. They eat your, your digits. They eat anything hanging off your body, if you know what I'm saying. Well, only a sick person like you <laughs> would switch from a beautiful animal like a bison and a, and a donkey and, and, a, and a, a miniature pony uh, to a chimp that, would, that is ripping your balls off. I mean, it's like only you would do that. You know, <laughs> That's where you my head just, goes. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. That's where my head goes. It's unbelievable. I, I haven't mean, changed I'm at all. A, I have I'm a, a dark uh, underbelly to me. I'm going to call now your wife after this and say, look, he's, the next time he does an interview, you have to come with him because otherwise he goes always to the sex organs with the conversation. <laughs> it's like he won't stop. Animals and sex organs. That, that, that's my sweet spot in interviews. Really, where's that? Oh, there he is. Hey, come over here. Come here. Schnelli. Come here, Schnelli. His name Schnelli. is Schnelli. Does he like, like? Oh, yeah, yeah, he does the ground thing. He's very talkative. Really? They love to communicate. They, they, as, as they walk around, they talk. You know, there's like one of those, like some, you know, some of these older people that just walk and talk to themselves. The, 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 the pigs are like that. Ring, 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 ring. It's just all the time. Very funny. <laughs>